The draft opinion on ERVs for vitamin D was uh, endorsed by the panel in February of this year, and then this uh, document was uh, released for public consultation. Uh, the panel received uh, more than 150 comments uh, that were uh, dealt with by the working group on ERVs for vitamin. We had several physical meetings, teleconference to uh, be able to deal with all these comments and some of these comments had for consequence to make some uh, changes uh, in the opinion and this opinion was formally adopted by the panel yesterday. Well, there is a uh, document on health claims that was published in 2011 and the panel thought that it was time to update this document because of the uh, past experience in uh, assessing health claims applications and uh, so this uh, document has been endorsed. Um, yesterday will be uh, also released for public consultation and uh, we hope to be able to adopt it finally uh, before the end of this year. Uh, the panel was, uh, well EFSA received uh, uh, a request from uh, the Commission uh, and then a mandate to uh, publish the guidance document on infant and foreign formula manufactured with protein hydrolysates, the goal being that each formula before being put on the market will be assessed uh, by the uh, panel in terms of safety, suitability and efficiency in protecting infants at risk for allergy by using this formula. Yeah, we had a good interaction with observers. I think 20 uh, of them were uh, physically present during the, the, the meeting. The, the interaction was really very good. We got a lot of questions. Uh, I think it was, in a sense, a bit uh, educational for them. Uh, for instance, uh, dealing with the DRV's opinion on potassium. And they were, of course, interested by the guidance document on health claims, by what's going on in uh, uh, the area of infant and formula uh, and follow-on formula. So from, from the, the side of the panel, we were very much satisfied with this uh, interaction, by the way. Thank you.